Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen, this is Intentional Living, and today we're doing a slightly different type of video. We are doing a cash unstuffing, and I don't usually do these just because I don't typically spend that much in a week, so it's not very interesting, but I did spend a ton leading up to vacation and while I was on vacation, so I figured it's a good time to film one. So. We are going to dive in and just look at all my transactions I put on my credit card and I can pull out the cash to then deposit and pay off my card. So we are going to start in my cash envelope binder. So I will go through the whole process of like updating my trackers so you'll see what I do off camera all the time. So um, the first envelope in here is going to be closed. So I am going to start by updating this. Um, before vacation, I bought some shoes and a jacket at Target. And so that is $49 that we are going to take out of clothes. And I'm just going to mark it as complete so I can see what I've done. And then clothes also, we're taking $20 out for my Stitch Fix fee. Um, I'm still using Stitch Fix right now. So that is a $20 fee for um, them styling you basically. So there is that. And I think that is it for clothes. So then we can add that up and figure out how much needs to come out. So 140 minus $49 is 91 minus 20 is $71 will be left in clothes. So then what I do is I go in and I see what I have. So I need to be left with $71. I need to take out 69 and like, obviously I can't make that change. So what I have is a small envelope of some, um, this is the wrong one. This is the right one. I have some, an envelope with some change that I like to keep at home. So what I'll do is pull out $71 of this money. So 50, 70, one. And then I'll put this into my change envelope, which eventually goes back to the bank to pay off my things. So for now, we will just put this in my little change pouch, which has a lot of big bills right now. So 5071 is going in close, but I am going to pull out the dollar and put that towards the $1 savings challenge. So if we do the $1 challenge, we have 70. So then I'll put this to the side and we'll add that later. Um, I think the only other one in here is going to be gas. So we will go and do that one. That one's a big one for sure. So the first one I went to VP to fill up before my vacation and that was $55. And then the next one was Shell for 38. And then the next one was Exxon for 52. And I don't really, I'm not like brand loyal. I go wherever my Get Upside app will give me the best cash app, uh, cash back. And it's actually called Upside now, but I have my referral code down below if you wanna get an extra like 15 cents off your first um 15 per an extra 15 cents off your first time that you use it on gas like extra cash back on the gallon so check out that app if you're not on it it's a way that i like um get like some passive income so we started with 150 and then we took out 55 and then 38 and then 52 so we should have five dollars left in gas so we are just going to leave this five and we will take the 145 out, put that in my little change pouch. Not gonna sort that right now, I'll sort it off camera. Now we have $5 in gas, which is wild. So I'll have to, to work on picking that back up. Um, I do see spending in here, so, oh, and self-care. So let's see, giving, did I spend out of, oh, I did spend out of giving, okay. So giving, I mailed something. I mailed a gift through USPS. I had already bought the gift. I just hadn't mailed it yet. So that was $11. So we have 41 minus 11 is 30. 
So we should be able to take exact change out of here. So 10, 11, and we're left with 30. Put that in my change envelope. And that was giving. And then self-care, I know. You can pull from self-care. So for self-care, I took out money for um, a new wax package. I haven't been going, but I did sign up for a new one. So that was $142 and it's $142 for a few months. So I'm gonna have to really work on this. And then I also got a wax before my vacation and tipped $13. So I had 190 and then minus 142 minus 13. So we should have $35 left in self-care at the end of this. So 20, 30, and then we'll grab a five from here. If I have one. Five. Again, put this in my little change pouch. Now we have 35 in self-care. And I did these two here. And I do believe the next one is spending. Yes. Oops. And so for spending, we, or we, I bought a candle when I was at the beach in the Outer Banks, which is where I went. So $38 for that. And I only had 30 in spending. So that means we're at negative eight. So what I'm gonna do is take all 30 out of here and then I need to find $8 somewhere. And I will take it from something else later, I think. So we are just gonna call spending good, but I am going to leave the tracker out because I do need to make up that $8 somewhere. But for this sake, I'm gonna say we're good. So next up are gonna be in the shared expenses. So groceries, I did a um, run to Publix before I left. And I spent $14. And I also got coffee at Whole Foods, which I just pulled out of groceries because I just did um, for $3. And then Food Lion, I spent $5. That was for a bag of limes, I remember. It was so random. It's like the only thing my parents would let me buy. So we started with two fifteen, dollars then we took out 14 3 and 5 So we should be left with $193. Oops. there but we should have a total of 193 at the end so 150 70 90 and then we need three ones this is for my one dollar savings though so we're not going to use that one Put that over here so one two and three so we have 150 70 90 one two three and i'm going to leave that since it's a shared expense And then household is the other shared expense. And I spent $40 at the store called At Home. I got a few things for the house. So we should have $65 left in here. So let's take out 40, 20, 40, and we do in fact have 65. You know what I should have done is kept all my money out. I don't know why I didn't do that. That was so dumb. Oh well, I'm sorry. Not very satisfying. Clearly I don't do this that often because I don't know you're supposed to leave the money out and then count it at the end. Sorry, my bad. Okay, so that is it for this. 
binder as well. This is legitimately what I do off camera though, so maybe that'll make you feel like, it'll make it feel more real. So then we need to go into Beach, which is in my holidays binder or envelope. And I keep my trackers back here because there's no pocket in this one. And then we'll flip to holidays. And in Beach, we had 170, I think. 120, 40, 60, 170. Okay. So one night I got drinks and um, while we were out, I got duck donuts, just some amazing donuts if you ever get the chance to have them. I bought some wine from a winery and a sweatshirt and a book. So let's see, the drinks were $24, the donuts were $32 because I bought them for my family. The wine was 49, the sweatshirt was 37, and the book was 22. So we started with 220 in holidays. Um, well, let's add up all those since it's coming out of just this. So 24 plus 32 plus 49 plus 37 plus 22 is 164. So this should be um, I should have $6 back, so I'll put this in and grab $6 as my change. So, now let's update the tracker. And I'm going to say two is spending because we're going to roll this to help us get back to zero in spending. So that's minus six. So that puts us at $50 in holidays. So the $6 we're also going to put down. And then in my spending, you're going to say from beach plus six. So now we're only negative two. So That'll do it for holidays. And let's see, I did beach, 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 beach. And then my parents' anniversary while I'm in here, I ended up in, like spending money on a card, but that was it. So we get to roll that money. Um, we didn't do much for their anniversary this year. Um, and then the beach is over. Father's Day, the goal was $30, so I think I'm going to add that 10 in here. So now Father's Day is fully funded. And then the next one we are working on is Juneteenth to be able to support um, some Black-owned businesses on Juneteenth, and that is coming up pretty soon, so I am going to put this $20 in there. So we still have $50 in holidays. It's just split up a little bit differently. So there is that. And then family is up next. Or I guess I skipped family. Yeah, I skipped family. So, in family, we bought dinner one night. I bought pizza for the fam. And that was $79. So that leaves us with one. So, putting the 80 down, and I'm going to grab a $1 bill. And right now I'm gonna put that in my $1 savings pile. So this will be $1 challenge. So now I'm at zero for family, which is fine because I did just see them. And now we get to go to planners because I did spend money in planner. I go get her girl, which is the planner company I use and I'm an ambassador for. They had a relaunch. And so if you wanna check out their stuff, I have the link down below. Um, it's really great and I haven't gotten it in the mail yet but when I do I will do an unboxing but I bought a ton of I bought one planner and a bunch of notebooks because I really love their notebooks this launch so and I found that I really only need one planner I don't need multiple so 
I just bought the one and multiple notebooks. So I spent $162 on the Go Getter Girl launch. And so that's 215 minus 162. So I spent, I, I should have left $53 in here. So I didn't spend nearly as much as I thought I would. So we'll do this 50 and then one, two, three, but $1 challenge. So we are going to make this just 50. And that is super exciting that I have that much left. So that is it for planners. So now it is just my summer activities, which I'm finally using my seasonal activities. And I do need to pay back those $2 bills to spending. So if I can't pull them out of summer, I'll pull them out of this pile of ones over here. These trackers, I didn't cut the way that I needed to, so they don't quite fit. There we go. All right, so that is it for this binder. And now we are going straight to my seasonal activities and I'm going to pull out summer and all of that money is in fact in the bank so I just need to update the tracker and I'll move that money around in the bank so for seasonal activities we spent money on a swimsuit which I felt like kind of counted because it was for the beach and that was $49 and then I spent money on um at Target for beach supplies. So I got a cooler, I got a beach chair, things like that. And that was $81. So we started with um, 300 in summer. So let's see, 49 plus 81 is 130. So left in summer, we have 170 um, in the summer. So let's do that first, then we'll do this. So we should have 100. So we're gonna take these two placeholders out. And then what I'd like to do is I'll then add a 50 and a 20. So I will have 170 and then I'll take that $200 placeholders and I'll just transfer that to my checking account and use that to pay off my card. So I hope that makes sense to you, it makes sense to me. Um, so we'll just keep the 70 in cash now. So. Again, hope that makes sense. So we had 330 in seasonal activities, but then we spent $49. So we are, we're at 281 and then minus 81, put us flat at 200. That's kind of funny. And that'll do it for this cash and stuffing. So we can add up how much we are taking out to put onto my credit card to get it back down to a zero balance. And we will take two of these $1 challenge dollars and use them to pay off spending. So I'm just gonna say from $1 challenge. So now we're at zero in spending. I also hope that makes sense. But this is literally the, what I do um, when I do these envelopes. So we're really only adding $3 to the $1 challenge. We will add that in right here into our big bulky envelope. And now let's add up everything that we paid. So all of this, all in all, was a total, if I did it right, of $1,015. I'm gonna add it up one more time. Yeah, that's right. So that's a lot um, more than I thought. So that is kind of what I do. It's typically not this much money all at once, um, but I'll leave placeholders out so I remember to make the transfer from my savings. Um, and then I just kind of or reorganize my change envelope, Take decide what I wanna to take to the bank, decide what I wanna keep in the house to make change. So like I typically deposit the hundreds but I'll keep like the ones because I don't wanna to go to the bank and get ones. So this is kind of what I do on a weekly basis, just behind the scenes. 
and thought I would share it with y'all since it was such a big one this time. Lots of spending. As you saw, I spent like $1,000 in a week. So I had the money though, so I don't feel bad about it. Um, but it's just, when it hits your credit card, you freak out. But then when you pull the cash, it's like, oh, wait, I can go pay this off right now. Um, just makes you feel a little bit better. So that is good. So literally all of this is ones and fives. So I will probably keep this at home. And then I will likely keep the tens, but everything else I will probably take to the bank and deposit and pull out again when I need it, if I need it. So that's kind of what I do. I hope it makes sense. So I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope you're enjoying the kickoff to June and all the videos I've been posting and I will catch y'all in my next one. Thanks y'all. Bye.